So we're with the Oculus Studios game, uh, Zanzaru Games Incorporated, and this game is Rip Coil. And if you purchase a game from the Oculus library, this game is actually free. And uh, I find it's really uh, an awesome game. Now, I've only played this uh, once just to test it out, so this is the second time you can choose to be, hi, how you doing? You can choose to be a man or a woman, cyborg, I guess that's what you are. Let's go over to options, make sure, uh, got high settings, let's see, make sure we have the highest settings on all the graphics, yep. epic graphics, alright, so we got, all this is good, and then go back, let's try to find a battle, now last time I tried to find a battle, I couldn't find anybody online, I guess I could host something and see if I could, uh, get a game. But we're just gonna go to battle. It says average wait time is about a minute. Oh, I accidentally exited out, so go back in. Just gonna wait here. The graphics are really, really amazing on this, and I gotta give it to the Oculus Studios guys. Seems like a lot of their, a lot of their games, the graphics are really. Uh, really amazing I know this is probably killing some of you waiting but I want to battle I want to battle somebody <laughs> not like actually actually battle them we're gonna rip core battle them so basically this game you're, you're gonna take a disc and you throw a disc across the arena and your opponent has to try to catch a disc and throw it back at you it's almost like kind of like a soccer match you're trying to get it past your opponent and I would guess you score every time you get it past your opponent and then you probably have uh, a score that you're going to maybe you're going to 10 or something like that I'm not exactly sure because I've never battled anybody before I've just done the practice mode which if we can't find one I'll go to the practice mode. We're gonna speed things up here a little bit. <laughs> so I know some of you guys are ready to turn the video off already. All right, we're just gonna go to practice. So what's really cool about this game is it's putting you on this like hoverboard and this is kind of telling us how to play we put our arms out press the joysticks if you're on oculus or the joypad if you're on uh, the vibe like we are telling me to hold it so I don't know there we go alright so now basically you can stand still in the center of the room and you slide your body side to side and as you slide as you slide you're gonna slide in the game and it's gonna feel like you're literally moving across the room I mean it's really crazy you gotta experience this to really feel it so in practice mode, I'm throwing the disc and trying to bounce it off these hollow deck walls here. And then it's going to come back to me unless it goes out of bounds like that. And I'm going to have to try to catch it. And you can throw this disc many different ways. See, there we go, I caught it. Now every time you catch it, it speeds up. So even if you're playing an opponent, I imagine, the more you catch it, the more it speeds up, which... You know, you're going to have a faster disc to throw towards your opponent. So the more you guys catch it, the faster and faster it gets. It's really cool because I can catch this disc. I'm catching right-handed because I'm right-handed, but you can catch it with either hand. Ah, I just missed it.
zoom in a little bit here. Ha! <laughs> so you turn it sideways and throw it like that, it just goes straight across the board. Oh, I had it up to five. But it's really cool. I really hope that uh, some people get into this game and start getting some people on the server so we can uh, play against each other because it's just a totally, totally unique experience. It's very simple, but I mean, moving back and forth like on this hoverboard in this world, it's one of the most unique experiences that I've had on VR. So I, I imagine if you had two systems, you might be able to log on to the same server, or maybe I could host and invite somebody. If you could, that would be that would be cool. See now I'm gonna oh I was gonna throw a right hand no, and then you switch to your left hand to trick your opponent if he was over there. Pretty. It's pretty cool, and then I believe, and then at least in practice mode, after you catch it, you only have three seconds to throw it, so it keeps the game a little bit fast-paced. If you uh, take too long to throw it, you'll be done. So I hope you guys enjoyed.